Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Today, we're moving on to a new area, of course. We already checked out Google Lagoon last episode, right over this way. Uh, and we got as many uh, things as we could. Now we're going to be doing the same thing over this way. This is the Poseidon. Now, this one I think I remember from one of the movies. I, I, I don't know. I'm sure that as we get farther into the game, there'll be some more obscure SpongeBob stuff that I've just forgotten over the years. But hey, it's Poseidon! I have brought you two here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. <laughs> My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. Oh my. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> Yay! And his challenger, a huge Whoa. robot shaped like a squirrel. Look, it's a giraffe. No, it's Sandy. Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. Oh my gosh, so it's just a battle. Okay, wait for the bounce. Um, okay, if you say so. So we got a giant robot Sandy like for some robot reason. Can I jump on her head? Robo. Now, uh, now what do I do? Okay, so I could have attacked her during the bounce, but Looks like the oh, you know what? Left itself Wait, oh, there we go. Nice. Reef. Oh gosh, keep running, keep running. Sandy's using her karate chops against me, and then slam. Boom, the right again. Taking a beating out there. Cool. So you see Handy, uh, Sandy's health in the bottom left. Oh boy. Just gotta keep running. Is this just like a Bunch boss Bob fight arena opening. though? Are we gonna but just fight different bosses here? Oh man, whoa. Major destruction. Okay, so bounce and throw the head. So I guess at this point, I guess we have to do that once we get bounced again. We'll have to see, but Spine. phase two of Sandy's fight. Oh, watch it! Moved. Oh my. Okay, come on, come on, come on. And then slam, the boom, like that. We gotta pick it up. Head. Hold on, hold on, give it back, give it back. Uh, press circle to pick up, and then where do we throw it? I don't know. Do we just, okay, we throw it at this. What boom. a shocking takedown by Patrick. Yeah, I can't even say any witty one-liners. This guy steals them from me right out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm not as witty as he is, though. I'm just trying to take some extra credit. Okay, let's keep going. Jump! What is with that picture of Patrick? Oh, it's with Sandy! Yeah, that, that one episode where she's angry. Boom! Wait, that didn't work. Looks like oh, no, it did. That's mine. Here. Yes, we do! Pick it up! And give it a toss! Oh, Boom! Nice flying, uh, head thing move by Patrick! Indeed! All right, come on, let's keep going. That's a pretty intense way to start off today's episode. I like the Poseidon so far. There we go. Of course, Poseidon was a character that was in some of the episodes, but I'm pretty sure he got his start in the main first the ever SpongeBob movie, head. if I remember correctly. By the way, we're picking this up. Stuff wow! Yep. I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match. Your turn, SpongeBob. Oh. Uh, we. Oh boy. So what's going on now? Bounce and bash the head. Oh boy. So once we get bounced, I'll slam back down and we'll sort of try to figure that out then. Spring, the oh my, here we go. Can't jump too high, but not too low. Ouch. First I'm taking damage though. Come on, we can do this. They're gonna do the booty bounce again. We're gonna bounce That's right back down. Bash opportunity if ever oh, I've seen oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, Boom, nice. Come on, keep running. Watch it, don't karate chop me. All right. Ah, oh, see, that's too high. That's a little awkward, I but like I think we'll be okay. Come on now, you're gonna do it again. That's a bubble bash opportunity. All right, there I it is. One. Nice move by Sponge Okay, they're gonna attack this one more time. Dropping the elbow. Over. Wow. So let's try this one more time here. Ouch. Oh my gosh, that's tough. Maybe I'm not supposed to jump at all. Like a little a weird. Breeze. Either way, it doesn't matter much because we're about to slam down. Did that work? Yes, it did. And got it. Is down and staying down. What an upset here at the Poseidon. SpongeBob and Patrick win. <laughs> that was quite a battle. 
Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula. Oh! And that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Wow. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... <sighs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. <laughs> so maybe we can come back here at some other point and uh, get some more moves. But yeah, we just unlocked a brand new move for doing that. Apparently the bubble bowling, which I know we can do at least in one spot to get a sock over at the jellyfish field. So maybe we'll go over there just to try that out a little bit. I'm not really sure. And I think there was another spot as well um, in the, the pier hey, last Clinton. episode. Oh, whoa, what's going on? Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Mm-hmm. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. <laughs> SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Aww. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're <laughs> the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. All right, well, Plankton still pulling some tricks, but I guess that's what open up, opens up this area, so that's pretty cool. Um, so let's talk to him not again. thinking, not thinking, not thinking. Hurry up, I've got big plans to proceed with. Okay, well, that's interesting. So we can uh, tippy-toe around maybe and destroy these. There presents. we go, because we still have plenty more of these sparklies to get. So is Mr. Krabs and stuff still over this way? I guess not anymore. Oh, that's nice, though. They actually give us um, a little speed ball here so we can catch up to some things. So I guess that's why we weren't able to get everything roll, in Bikini roll, Bottom roll, before. Sponge. It's because we still had more of it to open up. So I didn't realize that before. That's actually a pretty cool, nice little touch. So definitely, I think we'll spend the rest of today's episode exploring more Bikini Bottom, getting some more sparklies. It shines. Shady Shoals Rest Home. Oh, this is where um, Mermaid Man stays. What does that say? Uh to enter the rest home. Is that a level though? That's what I'm a little curious about. I don't want to enter a level. Cause there's Mermelair, Sand Mountain, Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, Chum Bucket. Okay. So I don't think it is. So let's go into it. I just don't want to go into a level right now. We can explore the different buildings and stuff that I'm fine with. Uh, but yeah, let's try this out and see what's going on. This is where, like I said, Mermaid wow, and uh, Barnacle, Mermaid or Mer, Barnacle yeah. Boy, <laughs> my heroes. Hit me with a water ball. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Eh, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Goody! Ah, what's happening? I don't know, somebody just rolled through the camera. Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? Oh boy, would I? Okay then, uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? So I think we'll go to the Mermelair because I know that that is an, its own thing. Um, is that here? I don't know. Okay, so I want to talk. He said over by the couch. Couch is right here. We'll be going to the Mermelair in its own episode, though, because I'm pretty sure that'll be its own full level to explore, so that'll be awesome. Really looking forward to it. I can watch this TV. This is a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now. I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming. <laughs> Retirement home girls gone wild. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Hello. Enter the Mermel Air. No, not yet. We'll be doing that soon. Like I said, that'll be its own episode, I'm sure. Uh, there's plenty left to explore, though, around here, so that's what I want to focus on. Hello. Is the TV repair kid again? Maybe he can rub my feet. Ew. Kid, if I were you, I'd get going. Fast. 
<laughs> Why are we so close to him? All right then, so I'll keep that in mind. Let's get out of here, but first let's grab some extra uh, shinies, sparklies, whatever they're supposed to be. Getting that super mega combo. Not too much in it for us, but hey, I think I need like 9,000 in total, so we still have a while to go. But that's still pretty cool to get out of the way. Uh, but yeah, I was really having a lot of fun with that, that Sandy boss fight. I'm really excited to see if we do more of that in the future. Will there be other giant robot characters then? I don't know. Can we go to the chum bucket as well? I'm curious about a couple of things here, so for sure I wanna see. But for right now, oh, you guys are back, huh? There we go, well that's nice. Let's wait for that guy to get back there and then take a swing. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Hmm, and there's Sandy's house over this way. I like how that leaving gives us a bunch more of these things to destroy. But yeah, let's see, Sandy's house. Yeah, Sandy's tree house. Is this its own level? I really don't know. If it is, we'll just sort of leave and we'll come back some other time. Sandy, your tree dome is leaking. Oh my gosh. Them there robots busted up the glass, SpongeBob. I got a tree house chock full of robots and it's all your fault. So get in there and clean up your miss. Oh boy, she is not happy. Are you ready, kids? Hold on. Um, Once again, I don't know. I don't think this is, like, oh, 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 continue for right now. <laughs> Poor SpongeBob. Set. Go, hold on. <laughs> so yeah, Sandy's uh, beach isn't like, or Sandy's dome isn't here. That's all I'm really worried about. Like the Chum Bucket Lab is another thing, Mermelair. That's what I care about. Cause you know, we wanna have, you know, that way if anybody's looking at these videos for a guide on an area, we can just sort of figure it out that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> that way it's not confusing. Anyways, definitely destroy that. So we're just trying to destroy everybody within the time zone, the time limit. We can do that. Oh boy, what do we got over this way though? More of them. I wish we could actually play as Sandy with this because she's sort of the best butt kicker. There we go. Oh man, robots everywhere. Got the little hamster wheel. Okay, Sandy has to keep fitting here. I just, poor SpongeBob, he's like drying out. Sponge. Uh, so are we going like up? No? Who are we missing then? Oh, there's a couple more of this way. How did I miss this? I don't know. Boom. Okay, watch it. Got it. Got it. Oh man. And nice. All That's right, all of it. Man. That's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. Well, we do get a golden spatula for it. Thank you. We're still drying up. <laughs> Poor SpongeBob. That is so creepy. Stop your yapping and let's get robot trapping. Well, we already did. I wish I could help you more with this. All right then. So with that done, what else can we do around here? Maybe there's still more to explore. SpongeBob is drying out, but I think he's fine for us to explore. I'm gonna destroy I love some of that. Presents. Me too. Okay, grab some of that. There we go. And what about this way? I can't do too much with this, whoa. <laughs> That's a little weird. Okay, then yeah, there's not really too much to Sandy's dome then. Okay, we're fine. So let's get that all out of here. Thanks for hanging out with me, Sandy. Oh, that was, that was Patrick looking in. <laughs> Whoops, I could have said something to him, I'm sh him, I'm sure. But we'll worry about it later. So yeah, what is next? We definitely wanna go into the Chum Bucket. It looks like we can't go into the Chum Bucket Lab without starting a level, so I'll leave that be, but it seems like there might, there, there's, there's probably something to do with the Chum Bucket, which means- Let me teach you oh. how to bowl a bubble. Press sure. this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Okay, let's give it a go. So we can just throw that and boom. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Bubble bowling is an important skill to master. Remember to press this button. I won't forget, Bubba Buddy. I absorb information like a sponge. <laughs> I would hope. So yeah, we can do that right here. Wow, it goes through all of them. That's so cool. Entering rock bottom. Oh, that's cool. So that'll be its own episode for sure. Over this way. What is this about? Can't quite hit that from here, but there is a little bowling pin. Aha, here we go. So you can see that raises. Oh, no, no, no. And what will that do? 30 seconds to do something. Get up this way. Oh my, is it just to ring the bell? Or, Flash, there we go. Wearing five pairs of underwear coming through. Flash, so I guess we just like got some extra health breeze. for that. Oh, there's more though. There's way more. Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna have to redo it. Okay, that's fine. What if I just did that? Will that reset the timer? I might just have to wait for it to go down. But yeah, you can see that the bowling ability is quite useful. Okay, here we go again. So this time go the other direction and see, oh no, 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 no. I gotta wait, gotta wait. This is where Sandy is super useful. I wish I could play as her right now. There we go. 
Oh no, 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 wait, hold on. <laughs> Whoa, the, the angling of this is a little confusing, but we got it, we got it. And there's a golden spatula up here. Come on now, come on. And uh, I made it, yeah, 33 of them in total now. So that's really good. Sand Mountain. So yeah, that's another place we'll be going for sure. I don't remember Sand Mountain from any of the episodes, but there we go, get a bunch more sparklies. We're up to 40, or 4,400, that's pretty cool. And, nope, okay, can't go over there. Oh, hello, here's Mr. Krabs. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got built? Okay, so he's gonna say the same thing, so I guess that's just Mr. Krabs' new location. Interesting. And also, you can see that these guys, I think, yeah, I can hit them with this, that's good. There we go. See, sometimes it bounces and sometimes it doesn't. A little weird. But then this is of the next area that has the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab and stuff. That's so cool. So that's probably gonna be the Poseidon again. So yeah, lots of interesting stuff going on for sure. Only one more little area to explore, and that is the BBPD, I guess the Bikini Bottom Police Department. Let's take a look. Into the police station. See, this is actually not what I was expecting to do in today's episode, but still very cool. So what's going on with this place? You know, obviously the police department. Uh, this is the robot viewer. Step on the metal square in front of the viewer to activate it. You can use the viewer to read the case files of captured robots. Oh, really? So this is like where we can get different stats on all the different robots. I'm sure we'll take a deeper look at this once we get them all found out and collected, including Plankton. Interesting. Um, and that's really all you can do here. Okay. Got a little... Uh, candy machine here, but can't do anything with it. And what about you? Hello, sir. It shines. Nothing, okay. So actually a really basic room. Maybe more will be unlocked here soon. Who knows? But hey, I think that's about everything I can do here in Bikini Bottom for right now. Next episode, we'll go to new areas and start exploring them. But I guess in the meantime, I have this bowling ability. I would love to try it for some of the areas to get some extra socks. The problem is that I don't want to explore the entire level and then realize I have to come back later for other things as well. So maybe I'll just go to the one area I know of that's pretty close to the beginning of the level in um, Jellyfish Fields. Uh, well, I mean, I guess we can teleport anywhere around. So actually, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So we just need to go here for right now. And I'm not gonna be getting all of the socks in the level right now. I figure that later on in the game we can re-explore areas and try to find all the socks and just sort of get that finished. But for right now, let's keep moving with all this. I'm definitely glad to get a new ability though. That's very useful. Just so let's try to get this a robot. Side. Boom, not, nice stuff there. So I, I like it. Opening presents. And we can also spend this time to get some extra sparklies because we need them all right. Like I said, we need 9,000 for the next one. We just haven't quite gotten that yet. I feel like a new sponge. But it's very useful to have five health instead of four. That's a really good reward for exploring. I like it. Okay, so over this way, got a good couple more. If we could get to like five or six thousand here, that'd be pretty good. With the, the mild amount of exploring I plan on doing. Seeing how I know this area pretty well now. But it was right over this way, right? That the bowling thing was. Pretty sure. Boom, gotcha. So I'm not gonna go too far out of my way, but you know, if it's along the way, I might as well try it, but I think we're coming up on it. There we go, got him, and got him. Might as well get rid of this guy too. Take yeah. that! Well, actually, no, that's not it over there. So where exactly is it? Am I getting the areas mixed up? I guess I am. Okay, I'll, I'll look for it a little bit then, and I'll be back once I find it. Okay, so I finally found it. It's actually after the bungee jumping hook area. I guess I just sort of got it confused all on the way. I was looking all over for it. I was like, where did it go? I swear it was in this level. It was, so I was just being silly. Anyways, trying to get as much extra sparklies as we can while we're making our way over here. This is this cool little bowling area, and we just stand here and go for it. Yeah, not bad. Let's try to get a couple of the pins out. Can we get it in three, three rolls? Yes, we can, all right. Not bad. Boy. Patrick will be glad to have this back. Indeed, I guess it's only two rolls that you're allowed in bowling, right? Or is it three? I can't remember. Either way, I wanted to go to one other area as well that we were at just last episode. It was, um, which one? Um, downtown, no, not downtown Bikini Bottom. Which one was it? It wasn't Goo Lagoon, was it? Or maybe it was. Yeah, it was, okay, so right around here, yeah. There should be another bowling area, and then we'll be all wrapped up for today's episode. I just wanted to sort of try that and experience it a little bit, right? Um, I think it's pretty cool. 
But yeah, stay tuned because we will be going to a new area next episode. I'm sorry this episode is a little short, but hey, there's plenty left to go up the game though, so <laughs> that's fine. Hmm, yeah, right over that way. I'm pretty sure that's a bowling area. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh no, oh no, SpongeBob! Okay, be careful. Yeah, this thing is a little ridiculous. We just need to roll us over this way. And this might be the wrong ability, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I know that there's another ability in uh, Jellyfish Floods that we need to get. Uh, or we, yeah, we need to get to actually get another sock there. The bubble bowl ability for ski ball. Okay, so here we go, doing some ski ball. And our goal is to get it into the center one. Oh my, <laughs> that's the worst possible thing we could do there. Or I guess the ones in the corner might be good too. There we go. Ah. Uh, so I wonder if the longer we charge like it, the faster it goes. Oh! In the like <laughs> come on, come on. Whoop. Ah, darn. So yeah, definitely. The longer we do that, the farther it charges. Ah, oh, come on. It's almost in there and then it bounces around. Oh my gosh. It just bounces around the rim of it. You're kidding me, every time. I'm going super up there. Come on. I can, <laughs> I'm sort of cheating it there, but I got 10 points. Look at me. I don't know, where am I gonna go? How many points did I have to get? Uh, maybe I should read the sign. That, that one's a little tough, isn't it? As long as these pants are square and this sponge is Bob, I will not let Bikini Bottom down. You go, SpongeBob. Uh, SpongeBob needs a bumble, bubble bowl power to play the skee-ball game. I know that, but I'm trying to find out how many points I need or whatever. Oh, that was good. Nice. Okay, try that again just on this side. Ah, darn. Let me back it up a little bit because he naturally moves forward when he charges it. Ah, so close. Oh, not too bad, 30 points. Solo Rama. Yeah. Come on, come on. That was bad. Let's just not fall in, you know? Come on, come on, come on. Whoop. Oh, oh, no. It's so tough. The ball's so bouncy. No, not happening. Try it on this side. Okay, well that's at least a little bit better. That's 20 points. How many points am I supposed to get? I mean, it's fun, but it's also like a little weird. Oh my. You'd think that would have gone in. It feels like it's not possible for some of those farther along ones, but there it goes. That was good, but still not all the points we need, apparently. Yeah, it's, it's like the points are a little bit arbitrary if we don't know how many we're supposed to get. Oh, there's another 50. Yeah, really, what is it expecting from me here? I mean, maybe, Maybe this doesn't give me a sock. Maybe that's just, well, what? Where did that one come from? Maybe that's just sort of the thing. Maybe this is just skee-ball and it doesn't even give me a, a, a sock at all. So this really must not give you anything in terms of socks. It's just a little mini game. Well, I guess now is the time to experience it because I wasn't gonna do it any other time. Um, weird for sure, but. Hey, with that being said, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.